Hello, good people of YouTube, Mount Batten here, and today for our bonus weekly replay video, we have Rhode Island replay. Now, uh, the Rhode Island is a pretty interesting ship. It's essentially a Super Florida uh, with a focus on secondaries and speed, which is um, quite a good combination. She has 12 14-inch guns, she gets an engine boost and radar all in a very fast package again with secondary so a ship that is very much right up my alley i'm not a big fan of the way she was released in the random bundles of course um it's really funny because uh, or i should say it's really ironic i should say because i made that video talking about how i hated that they kept doing this with uh, all these new premium ships right to keep shoving them in these random bundles and such and i went to get the uh perma camo for the essex and Literally in like the fourth bundle, I got the Rhode Island. So it's been sitting in my port. I haven't really done a video on me playing it because I don't want to... I didn't want to encourage players to go rush out and, you know, waste their money on the random bundles and not get a Rhode Island. So it'll be there and I'll make a proper Rhode Island video once she gets released for normal purchase. But anyway, today our hero is Digital Nomad in his Rhode Island. He's in a super ship game, so I guess technically he is mid-tier despite being a tier 10 ship. Finds a Marceau lingering over there by himself at the sea cap. Uh, he's got AP loaded. He's going to keep AP, AP loaded, it looks like. Typically, uh, with Rhode Island, you want to kind of stick with H unless you get someone's broadside. And 3,800 right off of the Marceau's top. Marceau has ran into the border fence. Up oh, there's a GK. And what was that? A Yoshida over there as well. Ooh. Might be wise keeping AP loaded now. Alright, so he sends some AP toward the GK. Now it's still the American AP, so it, it is still, you know, they are 14-inch guns, but with the American AP, they do hit a lot harder. Like that, 14K gone from the GK superstructure right there. And Rhode Island, or Rhode Island, uh, Yoshino's kind of way far out there. You don't really want to be trying to get American AP to cooperate at those ranges, because it simply won't. But a GK moving in at 16 kilometers bow in, perfect target for the Rhode Island's HE with her 12 14-inch guns. And, ooh, sadly, no fires started that salvo. Uh, early game set rep. The enemy team is capping the A and the B caps. The enemy team is looking like they are, yep, they are currently capping the C cap. But it looks like the GK is going to be the, the destroyer today and get into the C cap. All right, Digital Nomad has popped his speed boost now, which now enables the Rhode Island to pretty much act like a cruiser. Uh, it is crazy the way this thing handles when you don't have the engine boost going versus when you do. It really does feel like a cruiser, and it really does play like a cruiser. It's not a battleship. She's got incredibly thin armor, battle cruiser armor, if you will. And you can't sit there and tank. You really do need to be on the move if anyone is looking at you. Which, as you can see, Nomad does have the... Oh, what is the skill called? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the safety circle, if you will. It tells you how many ships are indeed looking at you. Oh, oh this should be great. Queuing up AP, Yoshino broadside. Let's see if this does deliver. It should, because it is a Yoshino. Uh, he is turning a bit out, however. Some of those shells might find his way to a Citadel, and they do for a cool, what was that, 21,000 damage off of the Yoshino. Very nice, Nomad. Nice shot there. Yoshino is ironically on fire and apparently unable to put it out. He has yet to, I believe, get a solid hit on Nomad here, because Nomad keeps playing with his throttle thanks to the engine boost, but there's a Satsuma looking at him. I say that, and then I curse the man to get a double fire from the Yoshino. Ooh, sadly he did not end the Yoshino there, but the Satsuma is very much looking at him. He has to decide if he wants to go around this island, either in the front or on the side. It looks like he chooses to go around the front. He does have lots of ships up there that he can mingle between and distract the enemy with. Those are, I believe, the Yoshino's Torps. It's a cool 15,000 damage off of the GK. The GK does go down. Looks like he does not have a secondary build on his Rhode Island, which is probably for the best, but I run one because it's goofy fun. I'm um, guessing he probably has a main battery build, if I had to assume. Ooh, that is a field of torpedoes coming at him. Um, let's see. Yeah, but it's, it's a widespread. He's fine with how maneuverable the Rhode Island is. Let's have the broadside of the Satsuma there, just making sure he's not eating any of those torpedoes. Getting his turrets back on to the Satsuma there. And uh, from that, that angle, that, that's a maybe. You might be able to get some stuff done, might not. 
but he does manage to get his salve out on the Satsuma. 12k there to the Satsuma. You have a Schlieffen and a Henry rolling in as well, but looks like they are kind of peeling off. Um, Sitrep is... they're about even on... well, they're not about even. They are even on kills, but the friendly team isn't hitting on points for now because the Henry IV is contesting the A-cap over on the western side of the map. Gets his rear turret out on that Schlieffen, manages to avoid hitting the island. And rear turret on the Schlieffen, what do we get? 4,000 damage, that's not bad for a single turret. Gets his front two turrets around on the Schlieffen, lets them go. Speaking of Schlieffen, the friendly Schlieffen is now deceased. I was about to say he was going to cap C, but the Yoshino has murdered him, so, well, there he goes. But again, still pretty even on kills. Um, two BBs down on the enemy team. The friendly team has lost their U4501 along with the Schlieffen. And the enemy submarine is also a U4501. I'm trying to look where... Okay, so yeah. The submarines have spawned over on the A cap. So uh, Digital isn't going to have to worry about him for some time. Well, it is U4501, so I guess you could zip over here going 37 knots underwater. Uh, but as far as the points game goes, the enemy team is behind in points. Friendly team is on top, and they are currently actively capping the A-cap thanks to that Henry IV, so that is uh, quite well. Ooh, broadside Schlieffen from 15 kilometers out. He does have AP loaded, lets it rip. Schlieffen is turning in. Um, and that is the downside about the Rhode Island's guns. Even a Schlieffen is uh, immune to your pins because, well, his armor is at least thick enough to pin... I'm sorry, to bounce 20... Um, 14 inch guns. I'm gonna say it's like 25, 27, somewhere in there. I think it's 25. And Schlieffen is coming back around again on the broadside. This guy loves giving digital brown a uh, uh, broadside, but he keeps getting screwed over by RNG and hasn't got any solid hit yet. But I think this time he should. Dodge that torpedo. There we go. That was a nice 10k salve off the Schlieffen. And the Schlieffen has simply bullied the Napoli out of existence and reminded the Napoli who is the real secondary ship. Uh, but at the same time, too, the Yoshino B takes out the enemy Marceau. So, again, even on kills in terms of numbers... Oh, my God, the Schlieffen secondaries. Uh, it, it is something to play a Schlieffen and have this wall of secondaries firing constantly and then to be on the receiving end of said secondaries. Henry the Fourth is... Oh, dang. Still around. I thought he was going to clap him there. That was a cool 15k off of him, though. He's up to 137,000 damage so far. Uh, but no kills. He, he has been putting down the damage for sure, firing mostly AP, so it's not like he's been farming HE damage. Ooh, long shots coming in from Missouri from 19 kilometers away. He does put his foot down by activating his engine boost, and he dodges most of the shots because of that. Again, speed is your friend here with the Rhode Island. Alright, so, um, dang. Neptune, uh, he might have the Neptune here if everyone else doesn't murder him beforehand. Neptune did pop his super heal. Ah, Hanover gets Neptune instead. But, and the Friendly Thunderer did take out the Missouri, but the enemy Brisbane took out the Henry IV. So Friendly Team is a little bit ahead on kills right now by a factor of one. But the enemy team does have the points advantage right now because the Henry did go down and they did have the A cap. So they got a little bit of a of a lead in points because of that. But this incomparable is coming around the corner and Digital is waiting for him. Maybe he'll finally get his first kill here. <laughs> uh, I think he should. Incomparable has got some thin, thin armor, so he should be able to bully him pretty well right here with this AP. And there we go. Finally, his first kill after 150,000 damage almost, and almost 10 minutes into the game, he has his first kill. Looks like he's going to get a nice assisted and cap ribbon as well for the B cap. Uh, friendly team does have the ship advantage right now. They don't have the points advantage, unfortunately. But that might be about to change here with his Brisbane going down. You still have a Schlieffen, Yoshina, Henry over on the eastern side of the map. There's the Brisbane radar. Uh, Brisbane's going bow in to Digital. Digital's waiting for like the perfect shot there. There he goes. Waiting for the turn a little bit. And, oh man, not kill number two. But he did take off a good chunk of his HP. Uh, the Schlieffen does take out the Yoshino. So that is leaving the, well, oh, hi, U4501. How's it going, buddy? Some torpedoes go zinging on by Digital. I believe that was the Brisbane's torpedoes, probably. Here's some more torpedoes. And no danger to him. Okay. Did pop his radar to spot the Brisbane, and he caught the U4501 at the surface. Oh, there we go. Confederate. Oh, he's got Halsey. I didn't even realize that. So now his main battery of time is going to be like friggin' what, 15, 16 seconds? Let's find out together, dear viewers. All right, Brisbane did pop his Hydro. So that is leaving um, 
digital perma spotted and the minotaur perma spotted for the u4501 which just took out the minotaur all right so ships are back to being even now with the exception of a submarine being available on the enemy team and no sub being available on the friendly team uh, the handover of the Takahashi in the back, Thunderer of all ships, is pushing up right now to get into the A-cap to try and deal with the 4501. Now, the 4501 is a pretty tricky sub. She is fast, but her torpedoes hit fairly light. She only has homing torpedoes. She does not have the dummy fire torpedoes that can do a fair bit of damage in one salvo. Um, but there they come. The Thunder is almost on top of the 4501. He dropped this ASW on him let's see if that takes him out looks like it did not but thunder does take out the brisbane so that does free up the b cap for the friendly team and digital is going to make use of that torpedoes go right on by digital because he popped his damage con to clear the homing ping and now we are down to four enemy ships remaining against five friendly ships so it looks like the friendly team should have this thunder is in the a cap takahashi and digital are in the c cap Ooh, ooh, but the Brisbane of all ships comes back from the dead and sinks the Thunder. I missed that. What was his, what was his reload time there? Okay, well, I'll, I'll pay more attention next time I swear. I was just surprised that the Brisbane got the Thunder there out, out there with his torpedoes. All right, four and four now. Friendly t team does have the points advantage. But, um, hmm. <clears throat> you have a Marceau that's being chased by Yoshino Schlieffen. He can simply leave this conversation because he is a Marceau in his high top speed. So he should just kind of disengage over there, come over here, and probably just go take the A-cap from the U4501 because as fast as the U4501 is, Marceau is faster. Uh, looks like Digital is looking to deal with the Yoshino here. Oh, no, oh, there he goes. Now, the, he does have a Takahashi over here. Takahashi does have the submarine surveillance consumable. So if he thinks the... Oh, hello, Henry. Broadside Henry to... Digital didn't give him enough lead, it looks like, but might be enough to get him. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that's kill number two for Digital, 13 minutes in. And he has about a 15, 16 second reload, it does look like. Um, let's see, what does he have right now? Show me game. 16! Golly, that is crazy. Okay, so... Huh. He has a Schlieffen and a Yoshi, and a Yoshi to deal with. Schlieffen is... I think he's at like half health, last time we saw him. Grand the Marceau probably has been putting in some work and uh, getting him down, but it's 4v3 right now. Friendly team does have the points advantage, but the enemy team is catching up. Uh, oh, uh, actually, actually, dear viewer, to your notice, um, the replays are bugged right now, and actually the points are flipped at this moment. You see how the green team's points are, by, are for some reason ticking up by two every tick instead of by one? So the green team's points are the red team's points, the red team's points are the green team's points, so flip those two numbers around. Thank you, Board Gaming, for another bug in the replay system. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Sheaf is around at over half health, but Digital does have his flat broadside here, and he has 12 14-inch guns with the Schlieffen's name on it. Ooh, that Yoshi's at full health. That is not good. Uh, Marceau is running for his friggin' life at this right at this moment. Three pins on the Schlieffen. God, the secondaries, they're just so absurd. The sounds they make when you're on the receiving end of them. Alright, so, full broadside out on the Yoshio. This looks pretty good. And... Pop. 21k off of the Yoshino. But sadly, he is not dead yet. Yoshino does get a final on him. Uh, digital insta damage cons that. Another broadside shot at the Yoshino. I don't know why the Yoshino was just giving this the uh, Rhode Island broadside for days. He does turn out there at the last second. Not enough. And that's kill number three for digital. All right, so that buys the friendly team more time. Um, they're fairly even on points right now. They're actually a little bit ahead, the friendly team is. So Marceau's going to go grab C. That leaves the half-health Schlieffen, a friendly handover who's at, ooh, 5,000. Oh, well, HP. And there goes the Takahashi, the ship that has submarine surveillance and hydro. So um, that's hella unfortunate. Okay, so now it's 3v2, with the enemy team once again having the lead because the points have ticked over in their favor. However, if the Marceau can go grab the C-cap, obviously that will put the points in the friendly team's favor. It's all going to depend on where that Schlieffen's at. Um, at Hanover, he kind of needs to just chill with his low HP, uh, but I guess he can't really stop moving because I believe the 4501 is hunting him now, it looks like at least, unless those are the Schlieffen's torpedoes. Up oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Alright, no shots on the Schlieffen from Digital. 
But the handover does have 19 inch guns, so he can literally just bully the Schleif into death. Let's see if they if he manages to take him out. Oh no, oh no, look at that. Oh god, it's two Titans fighting. But there we go. The Schleifen does take out the Hanover. And now the Rhode Island has to deal with the Schleifen, who has a heal. Uh, again, though, Digital does have a pretty healthy advantage over him in terms of ship HP. And again, the Schleifen shows him broadside. Will the guns finally cooperate? Gets the front two turrets out. Here comes the insane rain of secondaries. Ooh, 8k to the Schlieffen side. Turret number 3 is coming around. He gets high caliber for his troubles there. He's up to 227,000 damage, by the way, fellas. Rear turret out, and... Ooh, torpedo protection hit. Front two turrets out. This should be it for the Schlieffen. There we go. Takes out the Schlieffen. Okay. However, uh, the enemy team is still in the lead in terms of points. Oh, and the 4501 does surface. He pops his radar trying to catch him at the surface. And the U4501 submerges. But then services again to take the cap. He's probably being shouted at by his team right now to cap the cap. Oh, there he is, fellas. Just slinking away from Nomad's guns. I'm trying to see what the U4501 is doing there in terms of maneuvering. It looks like he maybe turned out of that first, uh, that first round of depth charges. Nope. Takes a couple of hits. Now, the thing is, the U4501 does have a heal so if um he stays at the surface he can pop this heal and he can regen the damage that digital just did to him however i don't think he's going to be able to take the b cap before digital does get into it looks like he did damage con the oil slick from that round of depth charges so digital doesn't really know exactly where he's at he's just guesstimating based on his last known position puts he in the tubes and he's just blind firing the generalish area where 4501 was last located at and here comes the sonar ping let's see i would assume yeah that's a pretty good guess because he's got to stay in the cap circle ah excellent guess there digital he's got to stay in the cap circle if he wants to have give his team a chance of winning uh, because, I mean, look at the points. The enemy team's about 100-ish points ahead. Here come the torpedoes, but Digital does manage to get them to go into the island. Excellent work. So, yeah, the 4501 has to stay in this cap. He has to at least contest it. Which, um, uh, is less than ideal with a battleship sitting in here now. The Marceau's joining as well. Um, is he gonna murder the Marceau? That's gonna be, uh little sketch here if he does because the Marceau is very fast and very maneuverable okay it's pretty close really close game right now but the friendly team does have the two cap tick uh, you got about two minutes left I'm not sure if that's enough time for them to oh there's a two four five oh one here goes the depth charges Marceau gets some shots out of him but I believe he did just merge there now keep in mind, when he is submerged, the dude does go 40-something knots. So, uh, let's see. Did he give him enough lead? First one says no. Second one says yes. Didn't hit him, though. Just caused some flooding. And, yeah, he did damage con that right away. You can tell because the damage is not ticking up on Digital's damage indicator. One minute, 20 seconds left. Enemy team still has a 60-point lead. Pops radar again. Because the U-451 in order to detect the Rhode Island does have to be at periscope depth. But it looks like uh, he's not picking being picked up. I believe it's like uh, within 5 kilometers radar pick you up at periscope depth. That's one of the things that they changed. Slams the brakes with the torpedoes. Let some whiz right on by. They're still about 40 points behind. 53 seconds left on the clock. Marceau is also assisting and trying to run him down. Up oh, there's the oil slicks now, so we have a better idea of where the 4501 is at. He's holding. Yep. Definitely want to wait for at least two slicks so you have an idea of where the ship is at. So he's submerged again, so now he's able to go 40 knots if he gives, you know, gives him enough time to spool up his engines like that. He doesn't instantly go 40 knots. You know, he's got to get there. Uh, looks like that missed. Sends out a second wave. 18 seconds left. The enemy team still has a 20 point lead on the friendly team. He's got to kill this 4501, fellas. And there it is! At the last, what, 15 seconds of the match, he finally gets the 4501. Oh my god. 
Yeah, that's um, submarines, fellas. <laughs> Gets a cool one million credits for that game. Confederate Kraken and high caliber, two hundred forty-three thousand damage done. Kraken unleashed. What a match! Again, another good match. Nice to see these black and forth, uh, these back and forth matches. Oh, the four five one was the top of his team. That's rare. Usually subs, even like if you have a good sub game, you're usually like middle of the pack ish. So uh, that says a lot right there. But yeah, twenty eight hundred base XP in the Rhode Island, five kills. Had to run down the submarine at there at the end of the match. So very excellent game there, Digital. Uh, thank you so much for sending it in. If you guys have a similar match where it's very close down to the wire or something crazy happens, you can send it to the email linked in the description down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday, wonderful rest of your week. And hope to catch you guys in the next one.